In the following video, I will show you how to answer the June 2007 question 3, um, and it's a question about calculus of trigonometric functions. It's part of the OCR Core 4 A level. Let's take a look. Uh, the question asks the exact volume uh, when the region enclosed by the x axis and the portion of the curve y equals sine x between x is 0 and x is pi is rotated about the x axis. Okay, just a bit of background. You should remember um, the following. If you have a curve, let's say here's a curve um, y equals f of x, okay, and you want to rotate a part of that, let's say between uh, x is equal to a and x is equal to b, uh, you've got that region under the curve, so let's just colour that region in here. Okay, if you swept this area around the x-axis, i.e. the line y equals zero, it would form a volume. And the formula of that volume, you can always get by doing the volume. following. Volume is equal to pi times the integral between a and b of your original function y, but squared, and you integrate that with respect to x. That is the formula uh, that we use to find volume. Now, in our particular case here, we are dealing with the sine x function. Now, the sine x function uh, between 0 and pi looks as follows, okay, and this is the point uh, y equals 1. Uh, so, this is the curve y equals sine x, y equals sine x. Here, x is 0, and here, x is equal to pi, and we want to rotate this area or this region uh, around the x-axis or around uh, y equals zero. So again, the formula will be given by the um, volume equals pi integral between zero and pi of the function squared uh, y squared dx. So that's what we're going to do in this question. Let's do it straight away. Launching straight in to our volume. Our volume is pi the integral between 0 and pi. We square our function. Our, squ our function is y equals sine x, so we square that. So we're integrating sine squared x with respect to x. OK, now you look at that. You see a sine squared, a power of sine. And you should realize I can't integrate that directly. I have to use the double angle formulae. So let's do a little bit of side work in double angle formulae. You should know the following. You should know that cos of 2x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of a single x. You should learn that. And rearranging, therefore, sine squared x must be a half 1 minus cos 2x. I'm just rearranging the formula here that I've learned into here. So, instead of integrating sine squared x, Let's integrate this here, uh, the double angle uh, version of it, which I can integrate because I can integrate a number, a half, and I can integrate cos of 2x quite easily. So this simply converts to pi. Okay, I'm actually going to take, uh, 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 let me write it in fully first. Uh, integral between 0 and pi of a half, 1 minus cos 2x with respect to x. I'm going to factorize out the half. It makes my integration easier, and out the front I get a pi by 2. Then I would be integrating 1, okay? If I integrate 1 with respect to x, I get x. And if I integrate minus cos 2x with respect to x, I would get minus a half sine 2x. And all of that between 0 and pi. Okay, keep my pi by 2 out the front. Pi by 2, uh, I put in pi and I put in 0. So when I put in pi, I'll end up getting pi minus a half sine of 2 pi, which is 0. So that's going to be 0. When I put in 0, I'm going to get 0 minus 0. So I'm going to get 0 minus 0 there. And then if I times it out, I simply get pi squared over 2. And that is my volume. And there's my answer to this question. Nice and straightforward, a six mark question. Um, the volume of this region bounded between zero and pi is pi squared over two. Thank you very much for lis uh, listening and watching this video. I hope you found it useful in your revision for core four.